The Game Awards 2024 has come to a close, and although the wrong game won Game of the Year, there were still a handful of exciting announcements and updates we think you'll want to know about. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and here are the top 10 things revealed at the Game Awards. Helldivers, we are back, and after nearly a year of waiting, the Illuminate have invaded, which means it's time to call up your buddies Get your ass back in the drop pods because Helldivers 2 Omens of Tyranny is officially live. That's right, one of the more surprising announcements of the event was the major update for the co-op action shooter, which went live simultaneously with the announcement. The update features the introduction of the Illuminate faction, new mission areas inside of Super Earth, and the first co-op vehicle in the game, the Fast Recon Vehicle, or FRV for short. Needless to say, this is the jolt of excitement fans have been waiting for, and shortly after the announcement, over 100,000 concurrent players booted up the game and decided to spread managed democracy right down the aliens' gullets. The developers of Core Keeper are taking their creativity a step further with Kiora, a new 2D sandbox adventure game for one to eight players, where every pixel can be shaped, mined, or exploded. The only limitation is your creativity. In this procedurally generated open world, the developers are giving players the tools to sculpt the world as they see fit, but also encouraging them to explore the various biomes in search of the Heralds, area bosses that will test reflexes, wit, and preparation. Let's be honest, if you're someone that loves Terraria, you're gonna wanna check out this game, and you should, because it looks awesome. Borderlands 4 revealed a little bit more about the looter shooter experience that awaits players sometime in 2025, with a new trailer and a lot of new characters to talk about. Most importantly, we got our first glimpse of the four new Vault Hunters that will be available as our main characters. Alongside that, we saw two warring factions, causing chaos on Kairos, a new planet, and the first real departure away from Pandora. The team also shared that a gameplay reveal would be coming in early 2025, but with a few moments of hectic gameplay scattered throughout this new trailer, I think it's safe to say Borderlands 4 will continue the breakneck pace we've come to expect from this Gearbox series. 1,000 years after the events of the first game, the first official gameplay trailer for Slay the Spire 2 was revealed at the Game Awards. Players will return to the Spire, a twisted labyrinth filled with strange and deadly foes with an arsenal of brand new cards, relics, and potions, each offering game-changing possibilities or dangerous consequences. Just like the first game, Slay the Spire 2 will launch into early access sometime in 2025. Den of Wolves is an ambitious, high-octane, four-player co-op heist game set in a dystopian future where players take on the role of mercenaries hired by powerful corporations. In the lawless city of Midway, espionage, sabotage, and assassination are all common practice thanks to the use of advanced gadgets and biohacking mods essential for completing dangerous missions. Being developed by the creator of Payday and Payday 2, as well as GTFO, this team is no strangers to heist games and looks to continue pushing the boundaries of this genre even further in the near future. One of the biggest surprises of the Game Awards was a new game by the legendary studio Naughty Dog. Intergalactic stars a new protagonist, Jordan Munn, in a new game universe. Stranded near Semperia, a distant planet, Mun must use all of her skills if she hopes to be the first person in over 600 years to leave its orbit. The team is keeping more details about the game closely under wraps, but promise that this will live up to the Naughty Dog tradition of creating an emotional, character-driven epic journey. I mean, just look at those graphics, all done in-engine. This one could be special. We are one step closer to the release of The Outer Worlds 2, the Game Awards, brought us all together for the first look at new gameplay for the much-anticipated sequel by Obsidian Entertainment. As an Earth Directorate agent, you must uncover the source of devastating rifts threatening to destroy all of humanity. Your investigation leads to Arcadia, home of skip drive technology, where the fate of the colony and ultimately the entire galaxy rests on your decisions, your strengths, your flaws, your crew, and the factions you choose to trust. Once again, your actions will be at the center of the gameplay experience with narrative-driven choices mixed with a little firepower, making up the backbone of this most likely wacky sci-fi adventure. Hazelight Studios is back, and thank you, Joseph Ferris, for dancing with the ones who brung you. 
because Split Fiction looks like another incredible co-op adventure game, a la its previous Game of the Year title, It Takes Two. In this game, you play as Mio and Zoe, writers that have different tastes in the content they create, with one writing science fiction and the other fantasy. Eventually, they become trapped in their own stories after being hooked up to a machine designed to steal their creative ideas. Together, they'll have to break free with their memories intact, working as a team to master a variety of abilities and overcome diverse challenges while jumping between sci-fi and fantasy worlds in a truly unique adventure. Guys, It Takes Two is one of the best games of all time, so have faith that Split Fiction is going to be just as good. Coming out of nowhere is the reveal of Elden Ring Night Rain, a new standalone co-op multiplayer PvE game set in the world of Elden Ring. Players will return to Roundtable Holt, set in a universe parallel to the events of the base game, as they choose from eight unique characters, each with their own unique abilities and powerful ultimates. As a team, you must outlast a three day and night cycle, making split decisions about combat and exploration across changing maps to become strong enough to take down terrifying bosses at the end of each day. The game is set to be unlike any experience created before by From Software, with players never experiencing the same journey twice as enemies, rewards, and Limvel, the world itself, ever shifting. Defeat greater enemies, venture into the more dangerous parts of the map, and uncover more powerful weapons and greater rune rewards in this condensed action RPG. Easily the best reveal of the Game Awards was the cinematic trailer for The Witcher 4. No gameplay, which is a bummer, but it's to be expected when CD Projekt Red steps on the stage to reveal the next entry into one of the most beloved game series of all time. The Witcher 4 will follow the adventures of Ciri, and although Geralt hasn't been outright dismissed, this story will put him in the rear view. We can't glean too many gameplay insights from a cinematic, but we do see Ciri fight a Bok, a new monster that can smell the fear of its prey. We also see Ciri's personality on full display as she comes to the apparent rescue of a helpless villager, only to be ultimately let down by the nature of humans. This is not the last time we'll be talking about this game, so be sure to subscribe if The Witcher 4 is now on your wish list. Friends, there were plenty more reveals at the Game Awards, and we wish we could cover them all here, but these 10 things really stood out. As always, it's an exciting time of year as we look ahead to the future of gaming and what adventures await us just beyond the horizon. As always, if you appreciate the work that goes into making these videos, hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe if you'd like more videos like this in your feed. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.